you know, not you're doing your best. Not you pressing the A button, yeah. you know. You're intentional. Also, Arctic Moon didn't press the A button anyway, so you know, we're good. We're good. Uh. All right, here we go. Starting on Black Belly. Now this is on Junior now. We got Ross is on Crapid and Dark is on Backline now with Vjet. They're getting <laughs> they're getting all sorts of nutty now. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, oh, Crapid? Who's a, is is Dark on the Crapid? It's Ross on the Crapid. And oh, the, Ross on Crapid. Yeah. And, and so I'm guessing Dark's on. on yeah, Vigit. Dark's on Backline now. Okay, so Ooh! I guess they just what? You see that kill from Vedro? You know what? I was literally fucking pixie. I was sparking my butt again, so I did not see <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm, you I'm know, honesty is the best policy. Yeah, mom, my mother taught me not to fib. I'm not a fibber. Right. Um. This is already a close game. I mean, Black Belly. And let's be real, bad map. Especially the start. Bro, if you think fucking camp is fun, like I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're on. <laughs> I did. Yeah, camp is fun, but. Bro, Black Belly is fun. Bro, Black Belly is fun as fuck. You just hate it because you can't play your long range weapon for a map that favors short range players. And you know what? I don't really appreciate. It. You literally play rapid for that cup. Anyway. <laughs> well, I used yeah. to play T Tech, so that's a totally. You're you're not even. Please, you don't yeah. know. You don't know me. You don't. And I, we're gonna stop I've, this conversation. Right. Getting back to the match. <laughs> Nick on Tri Slasher. Arctic Moon. I mean, we haven't say we haven't seen Arctic Moon play on this map at all, but they like completely changed their entire comp for this map so like uh i don't know i don't know if this is favorable favorable for them because they're they've been warming up one comp this entire tournament and now they're just forced to switch off of it, literally everything yeah this map kind of is just like yeah <laughs> this book it's really yeah, i'm surprised they Playing rapid blaster and try here. Yeah, <laughs> I think Nick will play like another shooter, maybe. There's... Yeah, I don't think they don't really have a reliable <laughs> armor weapon. Like try gets armor, but not, not much. Yeah, they, they could have get they could have did like yeah they definitely could have did like Nick Zap and like whoever's on try to make them play something. Else. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. What a pick. Redrum, I have to say though, uh, I mean, he gets picked off, but Redrum's fire fin is actually so good here. Like, you're used to seeing. It's fire. It's fire. Yeah, it's fire. You're, you're used to it's seeing fire. backline players just like, uh, you know, resort to the C jet. You know, the D gen, C jet, just spam ray. Shoot from top man. Yeah. He's making fire pin work like really hard. But, it's crazy because like I I think he'd play like he normally plays bamboo, but I guess he just figured out that he likes fire pin more in this map. Yeah. Because I because he just completely stopped using it. He just only played like bamboo and e leader. So I guess he's kind of bringing it back now. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, they do get Nick. This is. Uh, it's looking good for Rose. Really, just if Rose wins one more fight, that's pretty much his game. Arctic Moon has a lot of time to push back in, and they need to take advantage of like every second. Yeah, they have. It's in, and that's exactly what it seems like what Rose is going for. Red and Ellis are just sitting on the top, just keeping good control of their side. <clears throat> and even though like. Walker went down, like they still have a lot of control. They have wow, they already have one. They're able to just 
quickly retake after that. Yeah, Ar Arctic Moon did find the kills that they needed to find. Like they've been, they've been struggling to find these kills, but they have gotten them. Actually, all of Rose is forced into that back left right now. So if Arctic Moon can get a pick or two, oh, and he's close. That would be huge. Actually, now I see what they're going for with the chip damage, with the rapid and the try. And that, they have both of them shooting at that one spot. Yeah, when when, it, when they have control, yeah, it's just about getting it. Like, it was hard yeah. to get that control at first, but uh, <laughs> see, uh, oh, that's... went three down. Is this twig? Maybe he clutches. Um, damn, fuck. Yeah, so that was still a good game for our team. Like they they definitely played that to their best. Dude. Yeah, that map definitely didn't favor them. Like that's literally a bucket map. Yeah, and of course you have Waka, he's like, kind of Jesus Christ yeah, on the bucket. It's kind of unfair. He's a bucket team with a good charger, so it's like, it, it's really hard to like, really get in. <laughs> That's why he's cracked as fuck. Imagine if he could talk, bro. Imagine if this guy could talk. <clears throat> it's over for everybody when the others can talk. Maybe, maybe him not talking is his superpower. That's like the the catalyst for his success. Anyway, game two, Arctic Moon, like we keep going with this like idea that Arctic Moon are adapters and they just keep adapting every game. And like, yeah, at the end of that last game, it got like significantly closer. And even now they're off to a good start, except Enzab goes down because he's flanking again. <laughs> yeah, it seems like like the zap. He just needs to like chill a little bit more. Yeah. Like, Cause some like he could just let his uh his CDs his, and his Kega out and do all the aggression. And he just follows up behind him. I think that'll be a lot better. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they kind of just have the end zap off alone a lot of the time. Or maybe it's his choice. Or yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's the play. I'm I'm uncertain. But... They should be able to get that office. I know Waka wants to be in there. Actually, they kill Waka. And get Ellis too, so Arctic Moon has a free push in now. Uh, no. Don't let it be you. Okay. Yeah, they get zoned, but at the expense of all of their members. So that was... They put penalty on Rose, but that was almost... <laughs> yeah, by the time they get back in the mid, it'll be about like, like we'll be at like 15 Ooh. penalty maybe before they can even start, start to get a first back here. Yeah. So they only bought themselves like 20 seconds and Rose is already fighting them back. So like, yeah. It's gonna be really... Yeah, what, what could have been? It could have been a big push for Arctic Moon. But, yeah, goddamn. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Arctic Moon, again, it's like the co the common thing where they just can't find a pick. I mean, they have one now, and now we'll see like how far they go with just that one pick. They get one pick, and they just roll with it. Pick and roll. And now, <laughs> they, they already got their office now. Like, this is where Arctic Moon does their best work. Ooh. Girls are right into that ball. Ellis can't really push in. The squeezer's gonna get bubbles in a second. I don't know. Rose is. I don't know if they're ready for that. The bubbles are out. Kind of pops them early. Oh, Rose gets cap. Even even though they're two down, they get the cap. That. That keeps them in the game. Yeah, that keeps them in the game. Yeah, that was a really good play from Ellis there. Just to just quick cap his own like that. I think maybe with a little bit better bubble usage, Arctic Moon could have held the zone if they kind of just let those bubbles sit there. Yeah, for sure. Because right, Ellis just <laughs> snuck right in there. And... Yeah. Oh, Walker's gonna go in here. Oh, maybe not. Actually, Arctic Moon does have armor. Maybe an early pop. I don't know. They, I feel like Rose can probably easily shut this push down. 
Unless Arctic Moon gets a kill. But they just popped all of their specials and they didn't get a kill and now they're dying. So this could... Oh wow, as I say that. The random double kill. Actually, I didn't even notice. Redrum is on VJet right now. What? I didn't even realize that either. Yeah, Redrum's on VJet. Uh, who knows? They just want the missile, I guess. The missile? And also, I guess, just the extra paint. Uh, we'll hope, please. Because so the VJet can, can just sit back on the plat and just paint your own. And he'll do it better than Charger, the Charger would, I guess. Ooh. Oh, they have bubbles out. This is huge. Retro gets a... Oh my god, an Arctic Moon just... I don't know if that was just Rose playing really well, if Arctic Moon just completely flubbed that, like... I feel like, again, like, Arctic Moon could have held there. Like, Nick... Again, Nick kind of, like, overextended really hard and died for it. When I feel like they really... Yeah. They really could have... Could have held the zone there. So... Right now, Arctic Moon can't get antsy, like, they have to be patient. Except they might be able to get a cheese cap with Bubble. Actually, yeah. This is good. Wow, Arctic Moon takes it. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice, one, one. <clears throat> yeah, Arctic Moon's going there. They're adapting. Pretty nice to it. <clears throat> like they definitely if they have I'm guessing red is gonna either play leader or I don't know. Actually he, let I, me see their comp before he, I say uh, I think he's either gonna go jet or leader. <clears throat> yeah, CJ. Okay, he went jet. So like yeah, they went CJ here, so yeah. Oh okay, they went CJ before. So both teams have CJ. I'm not sure about the not the well, oh, well, actually, I don't know. It seems like Arctic Moon has uh, more paint overall, though. So, let's see. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. There's two members of Arctic Moon over there. Actually, Twig gets killed, and Nick jumps out. So Arctic they Moon. That this is huge for Arct or sorry, huge for Rose, and they just get the random squeezer kill. This is huge for them. Ellis can kind of just throw bombs on left. Once Waka gets around the here, they they clear this easily. Actually, Waka's holding their far eight. Yeah, uh, this is not good if you're a kick man. They're pinned. <laughs> Unexpected. 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 Anyway. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> the toy playing off the right side. It's I'm not sure how much value he's gonna get off being there, but it seems like Rosie is a little distracted on him. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't tell the rest of the game because he's just turning it. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ooh. Twig died there. Oh, oh, oh he died the crowd. Yeah. Oh, he got the naughty. Thanks, dude, for me. Yeah. <clears throat> I just don't think that's a good trade to go for. I don't know. I feel like they, I, they're they definitely like a really aggro team. They want picks, but I don't know. I think so. They're where they're going. With them. Yeah, I think sometimes their downfall is that they're going for the wrong picks. Cause if you if you go for every pick, you're bound to get a decent amount of them wrong. But it doesn't matter because they're gonna go free. Yeah, it's all about the timing, really. It's really, all about the timing. <clears throat> yeah, and actually, actually, didn't mention this before, but. Uh, Crops go. Crops favor is Nautilus on this map over any of the short range weapons, which makes sense. And it works. Yeah, it, it, it works really well, even though Crops like isn't even close to being a not main and a not player. Like it just works so well on these maps that are like longer range. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then like Abelcore is a really weird front shooter map. It doesn't even feel like it feels like the shooters just kind of aim and bomb, and they're not fighting a lot. They're not really pushing up a lot. It's like the way this map is just designed, it's like they're trying to constantly push toward the enemy side in a straight line. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Ross gets picked off really early. This is gonna be hard for our thick moon to get back in. The raise out though, they have Bria. They're not gonna have bubbles for this push, which has really been like important for them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no. They maybe could have neutralized at the end, but I think Rose had such a stronghold on that at that point that it really didn't Yeah, matter. the way Rose played that was like, it's pretty strong, for sure. Yeah, like if... We're talking about how Arctic Moon is playing, really, like, the tournament is not over yet. No, it's not over. Unless Rose just wins right here. Unless Rose just lose. wins right here, which, you know... I, I can't I can't say I would like that because I can't be biased as a to maintain my integrity as a commentator and Arctic Moon is pulling out Squiffer uh, and they're putting Nick on Splash which on paper like if you've been looking at the matches it's like oh yeah putting Nick on Splash like on any aggro is probably smart. But they're switching up their entire flow for this game. And I don't know if they're they're gonna be ready to make this game work. When you're a, I mean at this point when you've lost you only won one game and you just like lose two back to back. Like you just you just got to try something at that point, I guess. I mean they but maybe they're just desperate for a dub so they can stay in, but I don't, I don't know. know. I don't. It seems I, like you can kind of. See. Yeah, I don't think it's warranted desperation. I think their old comp was working. I think Squeezer was working. Maybe they just don't like that here. Maybe they practiced this map before with this comp in particular. But it's not. It's just nothing's going for them right now. If they don't get a pick, uh, yeah, and Rocks goes down. Two down, three down, that's a wipe, and that's the tournament. Yeah. Uh, I think that last game, like, with that comp fix, like, that really just showed, like... Like, they were just desperate to just kind of stay in, but, like... I don't know. Like, like yeah. you said, I don't think it was really warranted to feel that way. I think the squeezer was working pretty good. Like, that game was just, like... It wasn't even like any of the other previous games they had. Like, that was just, like, straight-up Rose's win. 